Welcome to July's Leco Challenge. Today's problem is binary tree zigzag level order traversal. Given a binary tree, return the zigzag level order traversal of its node's values from left to right and right to left for each level. Uh, say we're given this binary tree, we're going to start with 3, then we'll zigzag to the right to left, get 29 for the next level, and then 157. So it'll be something like going in this order. And we want to return an output of a list of lists which each level being a list and the order depending on what level it's on. So the way that I'm going to do this is to use a depth first search. And at each level, uh, we want to make sure that there's a list there. And depending on whether it's odd or even, if it's odd, we'll just append each value from no since it's going left to right. If it's, um, if it's the other way around, if it's even, so what I meant is if it's even, we'll just append left to right because it's 3, 15, 7. These all are just going to be in left to right order. And if it's odd, then we'll prepend. We'll add to the beginning of the list. Since we'll be traversing left to right, we'll add, um, we'll be adding 9 first and then 20 to the beginning. So then it'll return 29 instead. Okay, so let's begin. Let's first start off with initializing our output. And this is going to be a list and create a helper method for that first search. And what we'll do is pass in the node as well as what level we're at, as well as the output. So if not node, first we'll return, that'll be our base condition. Uh, otherwise, we wanna make sure that there's gonna be a list for this level uh, at this index point, right? So if the length of output is less than or equal to the level, since we'll be counting the uh, zero index, we're going to make sure that we have a list at this index point. So what we'll do is add a list, and we'll have to put that into a list like this, so that there's going to be a list inside this index point that we could add, uh, append to, or prepend to. Now let's call our depth for search first on the left, and we'll add one to the level, as well as passing the output. And we'll do the same for the right. Now this is the important part. We need to check if we are at a odd level or an even level, right? And if it's an even level, then we can just do append. We can do a regular append from left to right. If it's odd, we have to do a prepend. And to do that in Python, we, you can use the insert method. So if, first check if this level is even. So if we do a mod uh, modular 2 and, and there's nothing remaining, then we know that we're on an even level. So if it's even, it's not a problem. We can just add the node's value by using an append. Otherwise, we know that we're at an even level, or I'm sorry, an odd level. So we'll have to do an insert instead, and we'll prepend it to this list. So to do that, we use the insert method. We'll add it to the uh, zero index, and we'll add the node's value. So great, now we have our helper method, and we just need to call it. So we'll pass in the root, the level equaling zero, and our output. Finally, just return the output. So let's go ahead and see if this works. Oh, looks like I made a typo. Uh, let's see. Wait a couple seconds, try that again. Okay, so, so far it looks good. Let's go ahead and submit that. And there we go. So that's how I solved it. I did a append against a prepend. There are other approaches. You could use a breadth first search and create a temporary array. Depending on whether it's odd or even, you can reverse it and insert it into the output. Um, but this, I felt, was fine. I, I'm more comfortable with that first search in general. Um, so hopefully that helps. And thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.